I am definitely a Stitch Fix lover, but I don't know why I always forget about Daya & Co. So, I wanted to give it another try. Hey guys, so I have a Daya & Co box to open with you. Now, I have gotten a few of these in the past and they've always been hit or miss, just like any clothing subscription box. I just fell into a Stitch Fix and that's just what I have been getting. But I wanted to go ahead, since I haven't gotten one, they reached out to me, sent me an email. I'm sure they do this with a lot of people when you don't use a company for a while. They're like, hey, we will waive the fee if you give us a try again. So I didn't have to pay a styling fee for this box, but there is a styling fee. I'll leave all the extra information down below. This is very similar to Stitch Fix. So I'm going to open it up. I didn't leave a note or anything like that. I just left all my sizes and everything that was in there from the last one. So let's open this up and see what I've got to try on. And side note, while I'm opening this box, if you guys recognize my shirt, if you follow Nicole Burgess, um, I saw her wear this shirt, I think in two different videos. And I was like, I have to have that shirt. I asked her where she got it from and I had no plans. I've never been to a family dollar before. That's where she got this shirt, but it happened to be next to another store that I was shopping at and I went in and I found it and I couldn't believe it. So do you guys recognize this shirt? I'm totally, I totally stole it off of Nicole Burgess because I loved it on her. I had to go get myself one. All right. So I've got this box open. Um, very similar, like I said, to Stitch Fix. There is a bag in here, anything that I do not want to keep. I'm going to stick in this bag, drop it off at the post office, and no charge to me, send it back. All right, so I'm actually, since I didn't leave a note or anything, I want to read what they said um, because I'm curious. So let's see. Hi, Vanessa, it's time for another Dia box. I'm so happy you liked some of the styles in your last box. Like, it's been so long, I don't even remember. Actually, the blue shirt with all the flowers on it, I wear it all the time because I'm in love with it. That came from Diet & Co. Um, let's see what other handpicked pieces will make it into your wardrobe. And then she tells me what's in here and it just says, have fun trying everything on and let us know what you think. Happy styling, Janelle. That's who my stylist is for this one. I don't think she styled me before. Here is a little sneak a peek at my bundle. I like some of these pieces. I'm excited. Let's see what they actually are. The prints are pretty. All right, first up is the, oh my gosh, is that a dress? Ooh, that's cute. I don't own anything like this. I love blue. This is like, what is this print called? Gingham, I think this is called. Checkered, a checkered pattern. This is by Mary Bell, made in the USA. 1X is the size. This is really pretty and perfect for spring. I'm excited to try this on. I hope it fits. Next up, okay, I am not huge on skirts, but I do like that this is just a really, like a jersey, very stretchy material. Again, in the blue, they definitely know it's my favorite color. And this is Molly and Isadora. Again, 1X. Next up is this top. I could probably pair this with that skirt. Very cute and flowy. I don't know about the, the orange. We'll see. It's like a tangerine orange. And this one is Mary Sky 1X. It, I mean, it feels really nice and flowy. I don't know about these buttons, though. Next up is... I, I don't like this at all. I feel like this is much older. This is for someone much older than me. Uh, I'm a little thrown off by this. So this is Mira Lane and it's a top. It's a very like business casual where I'm a stay at home mom. I ain't going nowhere where I would wear this. And it has like, um, I mean, you could take this off. It has little lobster claws. It's an attached necklace, but I am just really not feeling this. I feel like this is not me at all. And last in here, a pair of skinny jeans. And they do look short, um, which is perfect. I like where I don't have to necessarily roll them up all the times and they sit right at my ankle, especially for the spring and summer months. 
Um, and I do like that it's a dark gray. I don't have, I have one pair of gray pants, but they are definitely a little bit lighter than this. So not a pair of pants that I already have in my closet, that's for sure. This is by Rowan, I think, or it has a bunch of letters on here. And this is by Rowan, Fit Curvy Skinny. But what is the size on these? And 14, so I'm in between a 12 and a 14. It just depends on how stretchy they are and how they loosen up when you wear them. So we shall see how these fit. But so far, I like everything but this top. But I am gonna try them all on and show you guys how they fit, how they look, and let you guys know what I think once I have them on. All right, so I know I'm far away, but I wanted you guys to see the whole thing before I come closer. I love the color and I love the style. Um, I don't know if this all over print makes me look boxy or not though. Um, I don't know, I think just for my body shape that maybe like the top being a pattern or the top being a solid and the bottom being a pattern, that would be better. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. It is definitely very, very comfortable. Um, just other than if, I don't know, I'm gonna have to look at myself in like a full length mirror and see what I think. Definitely love how the material feels. It's very light and soft. I just don't know if, it, if it's weird that it's one all over pattern. I like the little keyhole up here in the top. And like I said, it fits really nice. All right, so here are these two pieces together, the top and the skirt. I feel like this is a lot younger than what I am. I don't know, like way too, just not my style at all. So let me show you the top closer up first. Um, first off, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the way that this bunch is here, it just makes it look very, very weird. It is, I don't know, the way that this flows, and the buttons, it just looks like I am trying to dress a lot younger than I am. Like, I feel like this is a type of shirt that my five-year-olds would wear. I don't know, let me know. Um, it's very, very comfortable, that's for sure. But let me go ahead and show you the skirt. Okay, so nothing really special about the skirt. I do have it pulled up like way above my belly button because it is, very very loose and this was the only way for it not to just fall completely off of me but i mean nothing super special it's just a navy blue skirt it's very comfortable i just don't know how often i would wear it i mean maybe i don't know it is really casual and because it's a solid color really easy to match with a lot of things in my closet i've just never really big been big on the whole wearing a skirt i'm definitely a jeans and a t-shirt kind of girl. I just can't, I, I can't. It's very, very comfortable, but I think that's about the only good thing I have to say about this. Just for my personal style, I just, I don't know. I think this would be really cute if I had like an out of the house job that I had to go to. It's just as a stay at home mom and even like going out like on the weekends and stuff or whenever I leave the house, I just don't see me wearing this. Again, it is very, very comfortable. Like if I did not even look at this, I would totally wear this. I'm a, and also I'm just, I've never been really a really big necklace wearer. Yes, I wear them occasionally, but it definitely throws me off having this attached to the shirt. Um, so, and then I'm just not a big, big fan of the print. I don't know. All right, but let me scoot back. I do have it on with the jeans, if you guys can see. <laughs> so I'm going to scoot you guys down and show you the jeans a little bit closer. All right, you guys, these jeans are super comfortable, um, but I don't, I think this is the smallest size that they carry because Diet & Co is for the larger woman, uh, more on the plus size. So I think 14 is their smallest, but. I will have to double check because I do love these, but I know the longer I wear them, they are like, there is a lot of room. Like they're, they would definitely get very, very loose the more I wore them. So I'm gonna have to check because I do like them, but if they don't have a 12, then 
I definitely will not be able to get them. And I didn't notice when I was looking at them, but I like this detail. Can you guys see it? There is a line, like an extra patch of material, like they separated by two. I, I'm really bad at explaining things, obviously, but I think that's really cute and different and you know unique. And I love that they're short, so I do not need to roll them up. They are already the perfect ankle length. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to check and see if they have these in a 12 because again, they are super, super comfortable. And I don't have a pair of pants like this or jeans like this in my closet. And they're super, super soft and stretchy. Okay, you guys, I've tried everything on. Let me know what you guys think. I'm a little underwhelmed, but then again, I did not leave a note. So they were totally just going off of past things that I've kept and, you know, my little, uh, like the style quiz that what I like, what I just like, that kind of stuff. So overall, everything fit nice and was very, very comfortable. I just don't know if it was necessarily my style. Uh, my husband actually liked the last outfit the best, the very over the top like floral shirt. I do wear a lot of floral, so he probably just thought that's what I was gonna like, but he liked the last shirt and the jeans. So um, just like Stitch Fix, like, like I'm saying, this is very, very similar to Stitch Fix. Um, you get, I got five pieces. My total completely is $287. Um, the styling fee is $20 and it does get applied. So if you take that off, plus if you do buy the whole box, they give you 25% off. So that would be an additional $71.75 off. So with the styling fee and that percentage off, if I was to keep everything, all five pieces would cost $215.25, which is a lot of money. Um, now, there's a dress in here, there's a pair of jeans, there's a skirt and two tops, so it's very, a lot of like versatile pieces that you can mix and match. I mean, other than the dress, you can't really mix and match this with anything, but the other pieces, you can definitely mix and match them, but I'm only going to be keeping one piece. So let me know what you guys would pick if this was your box or what you think looks the best on me. And I will either update, actually you know what I'm gonna do? Once I decide and I pick what I'm gonna keep, I will put it in the comments and I'll pin it. So it should be like the first comment that you see once I decide what I'm gonna keep. But I'm definitely going to read what you guys think and all of that because you guys definitely help me see things from a different perspective. Um, and it's always nice to get other people's opinions. But keep them nice. I mean, if you don't like them, don't just say, oh gosh, you just looked bad in all of them. Just say it nicely. Because <laughs> I still have feelings. All right, you guys. So I am going to try to decide. Um, I'm definitely going to check and see if they do offer anything lower than these sizes. I don't think they do, but don't quote me on that. So if they do have these pants in a size 12, I'm thinking I'm going to keep the pants because I don't have anything like this. And like I said, I love wearing jeans and t-shirts over everything else. So I'm always looking for different kinds of pants and tops to coordinate with different things in my closet. So with that, if you guys liked me trying Diet & Co out again, it's been a while, give this video a big thumbs up. If you know of any other clothing subscriptions that I have not tried and you would like to see me try, I'm always looking for new ones. Like I said, I am a hard die true fan of Stitch Fix, but I'm open to trying other ones out there and seeing what I think. So leave those down in the comments if you've come across any other ones that I have not tried and I will look into them. If you are new, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. I try to get a video up every single day for you guys. It's not all clothing, so check out and see other things I have to offer. If you like them, stick around and I will see you guys tomorrow in something new. Bye.